please. Guy's Hospital in central London, and a man is about to have his life chances vastly improved with the help of a robot. He has prostate cancer. The surgeon and his team would in the past have cut him open and felt around with their hands. But now they insert tubes and then wheel in the robot. Soon the surgeon is at a console, moving the robot remotely. Its fine tools stitch up the man's colon before moving in to perform the operation. In principle, you could have the surgery carried out or part steps of the surgery that are very clearly defined carried out by a surgical instrument that was basically set up and told to go. I had laser eye surgery nearly 10 years ago and I know for a fact that the ophthalmic surgeon that did my eye surgery, he mapped everything up, he set up the machine, hit a button and it was the machine that did the surgery. It wasn't him. All kinds of surgeries are done like this, welcomed by those lucky enough in the rich world to have an operation made quicker and less painful than in the past. But the new frontier is not in medicine, but in care. The robots are coming to help the aged. To consider the role that robots can have in caring for those we love is surely at the sharp end of the debate around automation in a human world. After all, Robots can't emote, they don't have the human touch. And so how do we as human beings feel about outsourcing a duty of care to a machine? In the coming weeks, these dementia sufferers at a care home in North London will have robots for company. The owners run dozens of places like this across the UK. They want to roll the machines out everywhere. Because what we are dealing with is dementia residents, people who forget, who have memory lapses. And if uh, robots could remember things about them, about their cultural needs, about their habits, about their patterns of living, and if they could relay this to a new care staff or even an agency staff who's coming in, it could take away a lot of emotional anxieties these people experience because when you forget things, you get agitated and you cannot recollect what you have really forgotten. How are you? I am very good. And you? Robots like this, it is argued, could help organise delivery of medicines or relatives could Skype their loved ones through its screen. They cannot love, but it is argued they could help dispense it. The agonising question is whether we want them to. I think ethically it's undesirable um, to have robots take the place of uh, carers for these specific issues of being reassured, um, you know, being helped to death and so on. I think very few people would say that we should staff a hospice with robots. I mean, at the end of life, that's really where you want a completely human um, a type of interaction. In parts of the world, robotic care assistance has already been viewed by people as socially acceptable. In Japan, a nation of technology lovers with an aging population, it's becoming common. But will carers ever be replaced by machines? It would surely lead to questions about how much we value our own humanity. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, London.